Hi, and welcome to Milk and Honey Heritage Farms. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. So today I'm going to be making chili with some ingredients that might be a little bit of a different twist for you or not, I don't know. So Blackberry Rock ha Homestead has um, hosted this collaboration of different people to do their take on how they make chili or chilies. So join me and see how I'm doing my chili. So I'm gonna show you, let me take you off the tripod here. So I've got my kettle that I'm gonna put all the chili in and I've got ground elk and it's about two pounds of ground elk. Um, I also have a pound of home raised um, ground beef. Oh my gosh, I'm pausing too much. <laughs> Anyways, that's all right. So, and then I've pulled out from the garden some smaller um, onions that haven't been harvested and I'll dice the, wash them up and dice them up. I've got some garlic that I planted last October that I pulled out this year. Some bell peppers I'm gonna dice up, wash up, dice up into little small bits. Um, I make my own um, chili seasoning, chili powder seasoning, and I'll leave the recipe for the chili powder recipe in the um, in the comments below or in the uh, description. There we go. And then I like to use multiple beans in my chili, and all I had was some um, kidney beans. There's some. Um, red beans, dark red kidney beans, there's a can of chili beans and black beans. Um, I'm gonna rinse all the beans really well in the sink. Um, the, chili, the can of the chili, if you can see that, these don't get rinsed, but the rest of them will get rinsed well. I'm going to do one large can of tomato sauce and one large can of crushed tomatoes and I will put this all in my pot and I'm using taco seasoning and garlic and onions and bell peppers and <clears throat> two different meats of elk and ground beef and I'll take you along when I get everything cut up and um, start putting it in the pan and cooked. All right so I've got my ground elk and my ground beef in here cooking and I've got three pounds of meat in here. If you, ooh, we're steaming. If you don't want to make that big of a batch when you're cooking, you can just use one pound of meat. You can use, um, you know, any type of meat. You can use ground beef, you could use chicken, turkey, all sorts of different meats. So this is just what I'm doing today with the chili. So. Now that you've got your meat cooked, you wanna definitely make sure that there isn't any meat that's pink in there. Make sure it's thoroughly cooked. I'm going to add a large can of tomato sauce. And if you're doing the small batch of like one pound of meat, you'd probably wanna do a smaller uh, can of tomato sauce and tomatoes, like a 15 ounce can, not a big one. It's really just to uh, what you wanna add. Um, so I've got that, I've got my can of chili beans. Again, remember I told you I didn't rinse those. So I'm gonna add those, cause it's got kind of like a chili sauce to it. Um, I am also going to add some of my um, taco seasoning, just a little bit. Probably I'm going to say a tablespoon to start out with. This is kind of a taste as you go. I'm going to add my the rest of my beans. So here's the rest of my beans. I washed them really well. I've got different types of beans. If you're doing the smaller batch of chili, you'll want to add maybe two cans of beans to your chili versus all the ones that I did. Or you can double what I did. 
depending on how big your family is or how long you want to eat on it. And then once you get all that stuff in there, you're going to want to give it a good stir. And that'll get this cooking and blending together, all the tastes and, and things that are included, all the tomato sauce, the tomatoes, the beans, the meat, the seasoning. And what I'm going to do is put this on a low heat and let it keep um, warming up and cooking and getting all those flavors going while I cut up all the other things, the garlic, the onion, and the bell peppers. And there you go. So there's that for now. We're just gonna let it simmer until I get the rest cooked up and then I'll add that. All right, I've got some green bell peppers. You can put any kind of uh, bell peppers in your chili if you'd like. You don't have to add bell peppers. So I'm, a, but I, that's what I have. So, and then I'm using um, purple onion and white onion, and I diced those up pretty small. That way you don't get a huge bite of um, just onion. You want to get a, all the mixed flavors in one bite, not just tasting only one thing, right? So there's the onion, stir that around. <clears throat> and then I have um, the tops of my onions, which are nice and green. You can eat those and I'm not gonna waste them. So I have some kitchen scissors that are clean. They're used only in the kitchen. And I'm just gonna cut up this uh, onion top to put in here. And I still have my garlic to add. So what I wanted to talk to you about is now that it's fall and winter is coming pretty quickly for a lot of people, I think it's a good idea to get, if you like chili, to get some cans, different cans of beans that you like, some crushed tomatoes. You can get canned um, different kinds of canned peppers and whatnot. You can even get dried um, peppers in the Hispanic area. Um, and if you get the dried, all you have to do is set them in some warm water for a little while so they can rehydrate and then cut them up and add them to your chili or whatever you're making. So what I'm putting in here is um, garlic. This is a garlic press. I like garlic. You don't have to use garlic or as much garlic or you can use more. It's all up to you how you like things to taste. So yeah, since the winter is coming, stock up in your pantry some of these items that you can use to make homemade chili. Maybe the weather's really cold or stormy or you don't feel good or somebody in your home doesn't feel good. It's nice to be able to go to your pantry and pull these items out so that you can um, make a quick meal that'll last for several meals. I mean, you can have this for, you know, lunch, dinner. I'm gonna put a little bit more taco seasoning. And instead of taco seasoning, if you don't prefer taco seasoning, you can use chili seasoning. There's a chili mix um, seasoning. There's also, um, you can also use like individual spices like chili seasoning and garlic seasonings and then all, don't add too much just add a little bit at a time and taste it and see what you like and you can add some more add a little pepper just a pinch of salt so now that i've got everything that i want inside my pot of my chili um, I need my bell peppers and my onions to cook down and all the flavors to kind of blend a little bit more. So I'm just going to have this on a low heat and um, let it sit for like about an hour and then it'll be all ready to go. So if you haven't checked out Blackberry Rock Homestead's channel, please do. She's got a list for this Chili 23 cooking. Um, there's um, other channels that have chili recipes that they show their take on how they make theirs. There's also maybe some people that are going to be cooking actual chilies. So um, 
check out Blackberry Rock Homestead and see that list that she has of all the Chili 23 cook-off. I thank you for um, joining me and I hope that this gives you like an idea of a different take on chili and prepping up for the winter season and not be having to go out. I want you to have a beautiful day. Come back and see me again. Thank you.